Hi guys, today I'll show you how to make a delicious and easy chicken meatloaf. Also, a quick gravy for mashed potatoes, because in my house I have to make mashed potatoes with meatloaf and everyone asks for gravy. For the meatloaf, I'm using ground chicken that's got around 10% fat. It's best not to use very lean ground chicken for this recipe. Breadcrumbs, plain is fine. A large egg, grated onion, I peeled a small onion and grated it on a box grater. Green bell pepper, red bell pepper, you can use both or just one color. A little milk, Worcestershire sauce, and mustard. Salt, ground black pepper, garlic powder, dried oregano, and thyme. And of course ketchup. Heat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. To the meat, add all the dry spices, salt, pepper, garlic powder, oregano, and thyme. Worcestershire sauce, mustard, ketchup, grated onion, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, egg, and milk. Mix this up. Add some of the breadcrumbs and combine. I'll add a little more. The mixture should be moist, but not wet. To bake, you can use a shallow casserole dish like this, or a sheet pan lined with foil. Spoon the meat into the middle of the dish. Form it into a loaf or a square shape. This definitely needs some color. Now generally ketchup is spread on top of meatloaf. For this chicken loaf, I like to use barbecue sauce and ketchup. You can use either or both. Spread it on top and the sides. That looks good. Now cook it in the heated oven for 45 minutes to one hour. While the meatloaf is cooking, make mashed potatoes. I'll leave a link to my recipe below this video. Here's how you make a quick gravy for the potatoes. Heat up a pot, add butter, let that melt, and then add chopped red onion. Saute until golden. Pour in some chicken stock, salt, and ground black pepper. A little bit of dried thyme leaves. Let this come to a boil. To thicken the gravy, put a tablespoon of cornstarch in a cup and add a few tablespoons of stock or water. Mix until smooth. Pour the slurry into the boiling stock and stir continuously. Let this boil for a minute. The gravy has thickened and coats the spoon. As it sits, it'll thicken even more, so turn the heat off. If you've cooked it too much, you can always stir in a little more stock and heat it up. By the way, mushrooms are a wonderful addition to this gravy. Meatloaf is done. I cooked it for almost one hour. If you're not sure when it's done, use a meat thermometer. The center of the loaf should be around 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius. Mine was around 170 and it was perfect. Let the meatloaf rest for 10 minutes before cutting into it. The inside is very juicy and the outside has a lovely shine from the ketchup and barbecue sauce glaze. I don't like to add too much glaze. Feel free to add as much as you like. Most of the ingredients for this meatloaf and simple gravy you already have in the kitchen. I hope you like this chicken meatloaf and give it a try. See you next time. Thanks for watching.